Who is the winner of today's three from the guys you guys are about to find out? Hey, Judge. Hey, Michael, Peter, how did you guys do this weekend, okay? Yeah, man, and uh, I saw you were over at the uh, Don't Bully Us uh, Barbecue. How'd that go? Yeah, up in Medford. I co-hosted it with uh, Fox 29's Lucy Nolan. It was great. Uh, We had great weather, great time. A lot of uh, prospective future puppy owners were there, uh, and it was awesome. It's always a a good time with uh, Don't Bully Us Rescue. Cool, very Um, cool. Let's uh, let's see who we need to rescue here and and who's going to be the first winner of the week. Pete, uh, 68-year-old Washington Nationals fan Pat Killebrew died, and his obituary shared his last vision of his team blowing another lead. My condolences to Pat's family, but this man never walked in a Phillies fan's shoes, I can tell you that. Here's an early trivia question for you guys. Which professional franchise in any sport across the entire universe for all of recorded history has lost more contests than any other that's right Uh, it's your philadelphia phillies nearly eleven thousand losses that is spectacular futility for over a century on a regular basis oh oh, but but, 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 oh, oh, oh but stop the presses because pat's team blew another lead look I admire Pat's loyalty, and I hope he rests in peace, but he's bitching up the wrong tree in these parts. <laughs> Michael, MMA fighter Justine Kish, or Kish, uh, real men don't eat Kish, by the way. Very good. <laughs> uh, decided to take a nature break during her fight against Felice Herrig. Uh, it's got to be embarrassing. Hey, you poop your pants when you're alone in your house, and it's embarrassing. Much less viewed by several million pay-per-view customers across the globe, uh, and also Josh Henning. You know, she should have told the media, "This is the move." You say that it was intentional, and then you give it a cool name, and you call it. it I did the loose deuce caboose maneuver. <laughs> and you praise, praise upon people's natural instinct to run away from feces. Oh man, was that, that was on pay? That wasn't on pay TV though. Right? It was on Fo- Was that on? It was on FS1. <laughs> oh okay. Loose well, you still have to pay for your subscription for yeah. cable. Yeah. Hey, you know, there's an old YouTube video of this. I, I don't know if you guys saw it. It's a girl in a hot tub with six other people, and she lets it fly. And then as soon as the water turned brown, all the other people <laughs> dove out of there like a power line fell in the water (laughs) you you take that into the octagon and it's gold that is a gold maneuver she's just spin it differently the loose deuce caboose that's right the loose deuce caboose maneuver so uh pt jordan spieth will hold out of a sand bunker on a playoff hole to win the travelers last weekend and his caddy michael greller and he immediately, I don't know if you saw the pictures from this. I mean, other than watching I it watched live, it live, yeah. The, the still photos are awesome. They look like they jumped around like they were in this three-legged sack race pose. Uh, like they're playing Twister without any props or playing surface. It's very bizarre. Anyway, Greller is keeping the rake that he used to rake out the bunker as a memento of the event, which is something he likes to do. He takes souvenirs. That's fine. But, I, you know, I think that there might have been an awkward moment later when the duo walked back to the parking lot and Spieth was puzzled when he noticed in Greller's truck was a pair of his girlfriend Annie Verrett's panties hanging from the rearview mirror. <laughs> I guess Spieth is not the only one who can hold out of a bunker, apparently. <laughs> uh, just kidding on that. That was not an, an actual uh, t- extension to the story. My apologies to you. <laughs> Jordan Spieth and his girlfriend and Mr. Greller. MG, Hornets GM Rich Chow introduced his draft pick Dwayne Bacon as Dwayne Wade by mistake. I say, look, at least it was a trade-up mistake, you know? He could have introduced him as Kevin Bacon, which would have been a disaster. (laughs) And the judge is guilty of this myself, and I'm, I'm making an admission here. I was doing an update a couple years ago. I was doing a story about Russell Westbrook, and then I had to mention Elton Brand in the next story, and I called him Russell Brand by mistake. (laughs) Oh, boy. Oh, boy. (laughs) And my coworkers never let me forget about it, and that's a true story. I'm giving uh, Chow a mulligan here, keeping with the golf theme. Hey, PT, uh, Joel Embiid came up with this Fed's nickname based on his teammates' initials. And Kevin Durant mocked them over the weekend because, hey, they've never even played together yet. And half of the nickname hasn't even played in the NBA at all. So, I mean, I I have to agree 
I have to agree here with with Kevin Durant. I love most of Embiid's tweets, but he's putting the cart before the horse here. Plus, he left Jaleel Okafor off the acronym. And, you know, and calling the group feds, I think, is inappropriate because the feds are still chasing Okafor for going 110 <laughs> miles an hour over the Ben Franklin Bridge. <laughs> First off, wait a second. Uh, it wasn't in B that came up with the name. It was right. some Eagles beat writer. Right. And then he saw it and, and he they saw liked it. it. And so he shared. But uh, Embiid's the one that people listen to. Well, it's, uh, he's the one with all the followers on Twitter. I mean, yes. we could take all of our followers together and times it by 20 and we're not going to have that kind of reach. Um, I wonder if Rihanna is following him, by the way. But anyway, she will be at some point. MG, uh, as mentioned earlier, 18-year-old flyer Morgan Frost was exposed as a flyer hater in his old tweets. But keeping in this context here, you have to remember these tweets are a few years old. This kid was like 13 years old when he made them. I mean, some NHL prospects have trouble even reading at age 13. (laughs) So I can't exactly slam him there. Uh, He came out and he admitted that he knows very little about the team and about Philadelphia, and I think he's going to get a clear education soon enough. So as long as he remembers who's paying him as an adult, I can't make a big deal about this. Sheesh. All right, so is that it, guys? We're at the end of three from the guys for the day? Just like that. Fellas, this is a great start. I like all stories. I have to say that uh, the guy who came uh, up with the avenue for me to take the loose deuce caboose is the winner <laughs> mike gill you have won three from the guys yes we have a winner congratulations you are one of life's winners we'll be right back the loose deuce caboose is that a akin to uh, is that like your get out of the rear naked choke hold I'm uh, I'm going to absolutely claim the tr- the copyright on that before Markel Fult says that he came up with it first. <laughs> Sounds like a crappy move if you ask me. <laughs> Ooh, that really stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, at the end of the day, we all know the truth. Felice Herrig beat the crap out of Dustin <laughs> Kesh. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> All right, that's three for the guys. The judge will be back tomorrow with another edition. But he's got South Jersey Sports Center coming up at the top of the hour.